Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that picture was empty. Revelio. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured Hello, Gareth. With all her test answers. So, into has your aunt owl been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Cheating. Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. If you're setting things on fire, then perhaps you ought to rethink your choices. That's exactly what Aunt Matilda said. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.
Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Lumos. Alohomora. Revelio. 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 Lumos. I thought about transferring to both buttons just to get away from Professor Black.
Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. What are you looking for exactly? Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Thank you for passing through. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion! Rockers Confringo Revelio Confringo Revelio Merlin trials won't get the best of me. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do.
I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Expel the armors! That was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Revelio! Accio! Wingardium Leviosa. This room is taller than it looks. Revelio. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Uh. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Confringo! Accio! Revelio! Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Revelio. Bombarda. Grass. Rebellion no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about these tombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into Rebellion. problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Rebellion. This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Accio! Repairer! 
Incendio! Accio! Expelliarmus! Incendio! There's something here by the altar. Confringo! Revelio! What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Rebellion. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Depulsor! If this archway's been barricaded, find a way through. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Luke, I need to find a safe way across. The student mentioned bones as the key. Therefore, bone piles must be what we need. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! Revelio! Bombarder! Revelio! Wingardium Leviosa! That's a lot of bone metal. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. 
I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Rebellion. Devolter. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Bombarda. Confringo. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with green force. <laughs> Descender. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Revelio. Bombarder. Confringo. Departure. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio! Confringo! Accio! Revelio! Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. Expelliarmus! Incendio! Revelio!
Revelio. Incendio. That works. Keep going. We got it, Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. The wizards will have no choice but to submit to us. Up for a bit of dying, are we? Expediamus! Protego! Can't get you yet! Incendio! Send 
Revelio. Bombarda Revelio Defendo Confringo Bombarda Expelliarmus Incendio Protego! Stoop time! Imperial! Revelio. Confringo. Bombarda. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. 
We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Rebellion. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Lumos. Lumos. brought to capture her. At least ten, usually. There she is again. Fantastic. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Rebellion. Or just raring for a fight.
just got to make it to the next. Oh, she doesn't make it easy. A little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that opening below. Nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge Repair broken? <laughs> now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Ugh. unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind?
Off on another adventure, are we?